Hey UTA, welcome to the Shorthorn After Dark, and here are your top stories for March 9th, 2010. Senior guard Marquez Haynes has been named the Southland Conference Player of the Year. Haynes shot his way to the title by leading the conference and placing third in the nation in scoring with 22.8 points per game. Haynes has scored 20 or more a league high 19 times a season and has a school record 730 point games, including a season high 38 points against UTSA in January. Haynes becomes the second ever UTA player to win the League Player of the Year and the first since Albert Colton in 1982. Speaking of the men's basketball team, they play their first game of the Southland Conference Tournament Wednesday at noon. The Mavs will be looking to go deep into the tournament by first avenging their loss earlier this year at Stephen F. Austin, who pulled off a 72-65 win. The Mavericks have qualified for the year-end tournament for the eighth consecutive year. Staying true to his word, Science Senator Brian Ravkind continued to ask students to voice their opinion on what they would like to see different at UTA. Ravkind set up the resolution stand, as he calls it, in front of the library asking students to write down things that Student Congress should look into. He says many of the suggestions he's received have to do with the need for more parking, power outlets in the central library, and the need for a football team. As minor as some things may seem, they're very important to the student that goes up here every day attending class and just needs a little something extra to know that the college that they go to cares about what they think and how they feel. Bill McKibben, the author of this year's one book titled Deep Economy, The Worth of Communities and Our Durable Future, will be speaking about his book and views on sustainability on Wednesday. According to UTA's MavWire, Deep Economy showcases how our society has become addicted to the ideas of endless economic growth and consumption. He shows how our globalized economy has become addicted to the ideas of limitless economic growth and endless consumption of goods. The talk starts at 7 p.m. in the Rosebud Theater of the UC. We're working on these stories and more. Be sure to pick up a copy of the Shorthorn on Racks across campus Wednesday or log on to theshorthorn.com for extras. I'm Alana Quillen and thanks for watching the Shorthorn After Dark.